Wow. Kick it. No. Hi everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we got the brand new Supra Rally from Motive. A special thanks to DJ Rose from Motive who sent us this. If you haven't checked out his podcast, take a look on Spotify, On The Gutter. Uh, really cool content, a lot of cool guests. Make sure you check that out. So let's dig in a little bit to this Supra Rally here. So the core on this one is the Quad Fire V2. It's a slight change from the previous balls in the Supra line. Now this change was made in order to get the ball to clear the front part of the lane a little bit more and create more motion on the back end. So the cover stock on this is a slightly modified version of the propulsion cover stock that's seen on some of the higher end balls in the Motive lineup. Balls like the Pride Empire and Ripcord Launch. So taking a look at the Motive ball guide, we can see this one is designed for drier lane conditions and to create a more angular ball motion. So today we have Simu back out on the lanes. He's bowling on a burnt up lee condition where a ball like this should excel. So Simu is a lower rev bowler with very high ball track. So his balls tend to hook very early and run out of energy for the back end. Now this can create a lot of trouble for him, uh, especially later on in tournament blocks or league sessions. Now this ball is designed to retain energy for the back end part of the lane and create more ball motion. So let's see how it looks in his hands. Now today we have two balls that he uses in those transition phases of a tournament block. So you have the Night Road from Storm, which actually has a very similar design, very high RG and sort of that middle differential. Another ball he uses in those situations is the Columbia 300 Explosion. Now, if you look back at our review for this one, he did shine it up. We do have a little bit of lane shine on it still. Similar differential number, but certainly a lower RG. That ball wants to roll a bit sooner. So as far as expectations go, uh, I think this will be the cleanest and most angular of the three. We'll see a very similar motion with the Night Road, probably a few feet sooner because the cover stock is a fair bit stronger. And then the explosion here will be the earliest rolling and probably the most rounded ball motion off the end of the pattern. All right, that's enough in here. Let's send it up to Simu on the lanes. Hey guys, Simu's back on the lanes. Today, I'm throwing my first ever Motive ball. We got the Super Rally here. So I'm not sure if you saw my brother G Moose review. He threw a couple Motive balls and you guys seem to really, really like it. I'm gonna throw a Motive ball today, see if the hype is still there. I mean, EJ keeps winning, so. So that was my first ball there with the Super Rally. If you look at the heat map, which Motive provides on their website, Jimu will throw it up over here. You can see that the Super is in the bottom right, meaning that's got a very angular motion and is used for very high friction lanes. We just bowled our last week of league. We have uh, four games, three man teams. So this lane's seen about 12 games on it. 39 foot middle road, a little bit toasty. Let's slow down a touch. See if we can get this to shape up. Mix them up there. I can already tell a couple shots in that this ball is definitely gonna be the end of my arsenal. It gets down the lane super easy, and when it sees friction, it makes that hard left turn, which is what they said it would do. So let's throw one more. I'll inch it left a little bit, slow it down a touch, try to go flush. Another mixer, but it's very controllable, and especially when the lanes are getting a little bit toasty, balls are rolling out or balls are jumping up Brooklyn, this might be a really, really good option. We got a mini battle of the brands today. Got the Storm Night Road here. So this ball right now is actually what I'm using for the end of my arsenal. I really like this ball, very, very smooth. Really helps me when the lanes get dry. Threw it tonight, shot a big game against Jimu. Still lost, but see how it does compared to the Super Rally. Oh, threw a pretty good ball there with the Night Road. The core number is actually pretty similar between the two balls, but you really tell the difference in the cover. 
The night road definitely picked up earlier and covered a few boards more. So let's make an adjustment, move a little bit left, try to strike. That's pretty close to where I was during league. You can tell the motion's also a little bit smoother compared to the Super Rally, where the Super Rally gets down, makes that hard hockey stick turn. The night road just smooth and keeps going through the pocket hard. Some goods. Now I got the Columbia 300 explosion. If you haven't seen the review, check that one up there. You guys know I wasn't a huge fan of the Surface Auto box, so I shined it up a little bit. Really happy with it now. In terms of the comparison, it's pretty close in terms of price point with the other two balls. It's a hybrid, so it should hook a little bit earlier, but not sure if it'll hook more. Let's see. I was a little bit fast with that shot, but you can see it definitely rolled a lot earlier than the Super did. Got back a little bit light. I think I can throw it better though. That shot, you can really tell that it hooks probably the earliest out of all three balls there. Loses a little bit of energy by the time it gets to the pins just because of how dry it is, but you know what? You'll take a strike when you can get one. Gonna go back to the Supra, try to see some angle. Not my strong point, but we're gonna try to make it work. Let's jump left. I think you heard Jimu there. That doesn't happen often, but I really like that shot. I felt that I could really control it off the hand. It got down easy, and then that hard left turn, and I can't believe how well it went through the pins. Any other ball, that's probably at least a flat 10. Now is the time to see if that was a fluke or not. Try it again. Kick it. No. Well, that's probably the furthest left I would ever play on this pattern, but the ball will make it down if you get it to the dry. Once it sees that dry, it's really reactive to it. And I think that's what this ball is supposed to do. So we kind of touched the outer limits. See how the night road does? I think it'll be a little bit better. Oh, we'll throw it in this close spot. Wow, so tugged it way left. But what you can see with the night road and that stronger core is you get a little bit more forgiveness as it digs through the oil. You don't need as much friction like the Super Rally. One more, try to get it out to somewhat close break point. Close. You saw it there a couple of feet earlier and that's what really makes a difference when how it goes through the pins. The other one mixed up, that one went high flush. So two really good options there, honestly, if you're playing pretty far deep on some toasty lanes. Halfway through the vid, it's time for question time with Simu. It's my first motive ball ever, and I love their slogan, get motivated. So I wanna ask you, what motivates you to keep on bowling? Let me know down in the comments below. You guys know, at the end of the day, I'm still a low rep bowler, like to play straight up the boards with more speed. Let's see if even after a bunch of games of league, this ball can play right. Wow, that was really impressive. I tried to throw it outside of five, and you could tell just how far it got down lane before turning that corner. A lot of other balls, their covers would just start rolling, maybe puke at my feet. So really impressed with that shot. Try to do that one more time. Maybe slow it a touch. Wow, same thing. Got down early, slower speed definitely helped it. Four pin, if I was bowling for score, that's a good indication. It's time to move two and one left. I think that'd be perfect. Just to see what it looked like, let's go to the explosion here. Yeah, super early. That's what I would expect to see with a lot of these other balls. The covers are just too strong. They're not meant to do what the Super Rally does, and I think that puts it in a very unique spot. Same thing with the night road. So I think that was pretty close to the first ball I threw with the Super Rally when I was pretty far out right. You could tell the night road, smoother shape, 
not as crazy angle and goes through the pins really nicely. So what I'm really liking from this ball that I don't get from a lot of others, it allows me to stay pretty far right even when the lanes get burnt up. So you bowl tournaments with a lot of games or you bowl in houses with really high friction like wood lanes, this might be a really, really good ball for you. Especially if you're like me, you don't like getting too far deep. This thing gets the job done. So our friend Mark says, always try to end practice with a turkey as if you're punching on the 10th frame. Let's try to do that here. That was perfect. Split the eight, nine, got down so, so easy. And I really love that back end motion and how it drives through the pins. It's really hard for me to compare this to any other balls just because I don't have anything with this kind of motion. And I really like that considering how many new balls are hitting the market so often now it seems like. Please, woo! I got that on camera. That was crazy. I never get those types of hits. There's two in a row, try to go for three. Triple four pin, back to the shop. She was back from the lanes, my very first motive ball. Came into it with very little expectations. Not exactly sure how this ball was gonna fit in my arsenal, but I was pleasantly surprised and really, really excited with how unique it was. After throwing my first couple shots, something that I noticed is that it got down the lane super easy and definitely covered less boards than the other two balls here. And while you might think that less hook is a bad thing, for me, it's not necessarily that at all. Overall, my thoughts, I think the Super Rally does exactly what it's designed to do. As Barks mentioned in the intro, my lower rev rate and my higher ball track means that sometimes my bowling balls lose their energy too early instead of going through the pins. So this will leave me with a lot of swishers, some flat tens, and some weird hits overall. When I'm playing in these longer formats, I do really trust that this Super Rally will allow me to get further left, open up my angles, but also trust that it's gonna respond well when it hits the friction. The other two balls I could find be a little bit too early, uh, definitely a rounder shape and a little bit unpredictable. I feel that with the Super Rally here, I can get in less trouble, especially as the days get longer. So with all that, let's talk about who this ball would be good for. For starters, what I noticed right away is that I could stay right longer with this ball than I could with these two here. So if you're someone who likes to play up the track, closer to the gutter, but bowl on somewhere with really high friction, this is gonna be a really, really good option for you. I think another group of bowlers that would really like this ball are two-handers and crankers who really like to just get the ball to turn hard. I think that with enough rev rate, this ball is really gonna look like it's speeding up through the lane, especially when it hits the friction. So if you're a two-handed bowler or a cranker, you find that other balls are just way too uncontrollable for you, definitely consider getting a super rally here. Overall, as we talked about, this ball is built for light oil and high friction centers. Not exactly what we have here at Lucky Nine but I definitely see this being the end of my arsenal, especially if I'm going to a house that I know maybe has a high friction surface or if I'm bowling a really, really long shift. So for me, I love to gravitate towards balls that hook a lot. For me, it's a really nice change to throw this Super Rally and it's really nice to know that I have this weapon in my back pocket because you never know where you're gonna be bowling. So where Motive says that this ball fits in their lineup, that's exactly where it's gonna fit in my bag. So feel free to use that as a starting point, especially if, if you have other motive balls that you want to compare it to. So not much else to say. Again, huge thank you to our friends DJ Rose and those at Motive for sending us this Super Rally. I have a feeling that this is going to be a partnership that may be going on for a very long time, so stay tuned for that. So hopefully we will have a lot more motive ball reviews coming to you in the future. Let me know down in the comments below what motivates you to bowl. Really excited to read those answers. Maybe we'll reply to a couple of our favorites. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, we'll throw it in this close spot. Close.
Thank you.